Uh -huh. Okay, there we are. We are live, folks. Oh. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the launch party for Dame Drops Super Official. It is live on Indiegogo right now. If you uh, signed up for pre-launch, you should hopefully have the email that I sent out about say, half an hour ago. And uh, yeah, uh, it, it'll have some uh, special discount links for uh, those of you that uh, kind of stepped out on faith and hooked us up. But uh, let's go around the round table and introduce who we currently have here. Of course, my name is Antonio Bryce. I am the owner of Akari Press. Uh, we make fine comic books right here like this. This is Brand. Uh, this is one of the other covers for Brand. And uh, it is currently, you can go to AkariPress.com and it will uh, pop right up there uh, for our campaign for Brand Way of the Gun. But uh, let's, uh, let's kind of go through our fine cast of characters here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this one, this gentleman right here, uh, is a New York <laughs> Times wrestling. Yeah, yeah, you, come on, man, don't don't step on yeah. it, don't ruin it. Okay, um, let me see. Oh, you brought your comic out. So, yeah, I'm I'm the artist for Injustice. This yes, is one of many, many Injustice books, and I'm doing my own book. Sorry, the only one I have is a sketch cover <laughs> available, but Lone it, Star. Mind like of the Monster, and it is in the description, by the way, on uh, on the thing. So that is Mike <laughs> S. Miller, a uh, very talented uh, artist who also contributed uh, our Badlands Chugs cover. Uh, yes, speaking of yes, Badlands yes, Chugs, yes, let's. Uh, yes. He is well. I mean, <laughs> over two million people on YouTube, almost three million on TikTok. Uh, mm. He is. Uh, oh yeah, there you oh, go. Yeah. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is this is the man. He's and he's got his own cover, uh, as previously mentioned, done by Mike S. Miller. He will be uh, the co-star of our backup story in Superficial called Melee at Mafungo. Nice. Nice. Man, Chuck, oh, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Oh man, it's an Thank honor. You. It's an honor to have you here with us. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, oh man, people, we got a couple hundred people watching on my thing. People watching the uh, on the platform. That's good. That's that's good. Everybody pulling up. But this is the man of the hour. Too sweet to be sour. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Drops. Bacon, bacon, baby. oh man, the super <laughs> official and super official. And uh, Dame, uh, months and months of chopping it up in the DMs and on text yes, messages. Uh, uh, we are face to face now, man. It's good to good to meet you, brother. And uh, this is this is uh, incredible. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to see you, man. How are you doing, bro? I'm, I'm feeling blessed. You know, what I'm saying every day above ground is a is a blessing indeed. It gives us another opportunity to get out there to hustle to do our thing. I'm greatly appreciative of everybody that's in the chat right now. I see Alex on the check-in. Chauncey and Edward up in there. Inferno Clips, what's happening with you, man? Greatly appreciate everybody that's joining us tonight. Super official is the comic book. Like, the, the full reviews are one thing. What the comic book is about to bring to the game with my brother Badlands Chugs on the backup story, all the energy, all the chugs, all the full review, all, all the villains, man. And we have the most amazing team. Putting it all together, I can't wait for you guys to get it in your hand. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. But okay, so let's let's break down some other stuff because I gotta I gotta acknowledge some uh, good friends of ours. Now, of course, if you type in, I've got it pinned in the chat too. If you type in DameComic.com, it will take you directly to Superficial. Superficial is live. Just launched it a few minutes before we went on stream. I'm also gonna take the audio for this. I'm gonna put it on my plaque. Uh, my podcast platform. Uh, you can go to anchor.fm slash Akari Press. We are also going to be on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio, Google, uh, uh, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio. Like, we're everywhere. Uh, we also want to acknowledge about 400,000 people watching us live on Planet EJOBN on Facebook right now. Uh, oh. I, I know I heard from some folks on Planet e EJOBN. Uh, salute to my brother Jamal Baraka, the founder of Planet EJOBN, uh, being very generous and sharing his platform with us today. Uh, we, we love you, Jamal. Um, thank you so much for being a, a nerd and a comic book head. Um, and of course, if you are on one of the other platforms, we're streaming on Twitch right now. We're also on Periscope. If you want to come hang out directly in the chat, it is youtube.com slash Akari Press. Whew. 
and then you can come on in. And I see we need, have you need some a banner for that too, bro. Yeah. Oh no. No, I just did oh. it. It was just oh, there. Yeah. Did you not see it? Is YouTube.com slash oh, 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 okay. But hold up. We got we 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 got some uh late guests showing up. Okay, he is the artist on uh the A story on Super Official. Uh let me uh he is also the artist on uh brand and my sequel brand way of the gun and uh a bunch of covers and stuff like that. Please welcome uh Mr. Kanan White, my brother. How are you, sir? I am doing good, man. Can you hear me? Uh yeah, yeah. yeah I can hear you, Kanan. It's good to see you, my friend. Likewise. Hey everybody. What's going on? Okay, good, 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 good. All right. So, well, I mean, dang, this is your party. So, uh, how long have you been in the comics and all this kind of thing? Because, I mean, you know, that's kind of what uh, made me approach you originally. I was watching one of your videos and I saw like uh, Airbrush look like Iron Man or something in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I was like, he likes comics. <laughs> and at that point, uh, I was like, yo, um, I think I think I have found not only because I'm a foodie, but I right. said, I think I have found a fellow comic head. And <laughs> and so I you know I approached you. I was like, yo, let us draw something for you, or whatever. And and then we started talking in the DMs, and I gave you a copy of, of brand. Mm -hmm. And then we just kept talking. So, you know, obviously things progressed at that point. So I was, uh, you know, I, I was just like, how long have you liked comics? Uh, let me tell you something. I received my first extremely large garbage bag full of comic books when I was six years old. I still remember my mom's brought me out to visit some relatives out in New York. And sitting there, she was just chopping it up, doing her thing. I happened to have a cousin who I really didn't know that well. But what I did know is when I went into his room, the room was flooded with comic books. Comic books were everywhere. And so he was sitting down with me. We were going, it was, a, it was Marvel Comics. I remember, oh my goodness, like my first time holding a straight comic book and looking through the pages, reading the story. And over time, I fell in love with the character Wolverine. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because for me, it was just like, trying to find a character that you could actually connect with. And just the way the Wolverine was drawn then, with, with, with the claws that would come out, how effective he was in every story. And then I grew to love other characters along the way as well. And so before I left that day, he was like, look, I'm going to get you your own nice little collection. I want to get you started. I want you more invested than you are right now in comics. And sent me home with a large garbage bag full of comics. Uh, mm. and from then, it was like all I had was die-cast metal toys and comic books. I remember die -cast metal. You know what I'm saying? Like When you say die-cast metal, a lot yeah. of people that are watching this right now All either cool. know about die-cast metal yeah. or they have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> but you know die-cast metal, you had an official toy, whether, you know what I'm saying, it was Voltron or whether you were sitting there and you had your Matchbox cars, but die-cast metal comic books, that was all you needed. That's right. Back in the day, they made toys that kids could actually kill the kill each other with. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if you guys remember, in the back of comic books, you were actually able to order Ninja Stars. I had Ninja Stars that I ordered yeah. in the back of my comic books. Oh, yeah. We, I, I used to, there were some buddies of mine, they would bring the Ninja magazines to, to school and stuff, and we would chop it up like that. So... I, I would, you know, I always love that stuff. I always love like Kung Fu. You know how we, 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 oh, yeah. man, Kung Fu theater and all that. I used to watch Kung Fu theater on like Saturdays and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, always, I always like that. But I mean, comic books, I've been reading comics since I was like seven. Mm, and yeah, yeah Spider Man, Alpha yeah. Flight, G.I. Joe, Iron Man, X Men, you know, that's, that's what I was into. So Hulk, you know, those are Captain America. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's the kind of stuff that I kind of cut my teeth on and it kind of made me want to <laughs> do this thing. You know, I was like, I always wanted to write, you know, my own car. Uh oh, Kanan appears to be uh, drawing uh, Mr. Dane, I think. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK, you're going to flex on him like that, Kanan? Are you flexing on him right now with the drawing? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, so, but uh, yeah, man, this is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, matter of fact, I actually want to, to take 
uh, Canaan off the screen here because I want to actually show the campaign and show exactly what we have going on here. Uh, let me see. We just like I said, we just launched it like ten minutes ago. It hadn't even been live that long. So um, it's uh, yeah. Let me get this whole thing going. <laughs> I hate when I do this. Can you go? You go on beast mode with that drawing, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. You know what I'm wow. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. liking how I already see the direction in which you're going. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh -huh. you ain't even get halfway through yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it don't, yeah, the yeah, it don't take long, man. Like, you know, get that on the right. man. Just move, so. yeah. All right. So we've got the uh, campaign for Dame Drop Superficial. This is it pulled up. Like I said, it's only been live for about ten minutes now. So. Um, if you when you come on in, there is a link right at the top here for the free preview for Super Official that mm. anyone can access. And then here's our featured perk, uh, uh, Super Official, where you can get one of four covers. As a matter of fact, let me go down and actually show the cover. Oh, oh there's oh, Badlands. Like the bad yeah, right there. Let me see. Yeah, there you go. There goes Badlands, Chuck. And and this uh, this is our uh, two villains for from the backup story, Melee at Mafungo. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Flavor and Triple D. Uh, not, uh, I'm, I'm wondering who that is inspired by, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. So we've got four covers for Super Official. Here is cover A, which mm. is uh, a little nod to the King himself, Jack Kirby. Mm -hmm. His Incredible Hulk number one cover. Uh, this is the this is the main cover that people will be getting on uh, Dame Drop Super Official. Obviously done by Kane and White and beautiful colors by our colorist Jesse Hagee. Uh, let's see here. And then here is the B cover, which mm. is the bad. B is for bad last. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah Mike is right there. Oh, yeah. We love this. And uh, this is a uh, uh, homage to the X Force 3 cover from uh, Rob Liefeld oh. way back in the day. And uh, Mike S. Miller, I think you killed this. This is. Uh, yeah. It's perfect, and uh, I, I really look crazy, bro. That looks crazy. Wow. That looks like juggernaut. That's yeah, we did, we did yeah. that. We did that live, uh, and you shared out the video to it, so it's on my channel. It was, it was pretty fun. That's yeah. amazing, bro. Yeah, this. As a matter of fact, if anybody's on YouTube, just type in "Black Blacklist Universe," it should come right up. But oh, here yeah. is cover C right here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this one. Great. Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, the uh, an homage to Incredible Hulk number three forty uh, mm -hmm. that was done by Todd McFarlane. Uh, obviously, if you've seen that cover, that this is uh, Wolverine, but uh, Wolverine has been replaced by Dame and uh, <laughs> very lovingly done by uh, Mr. Yeah. Elliot Hernandez. And we actually have the original cover art. For sale there on the on the campaign. If anybody wants to check that out, and yeah. we don't have cover D yet, but uh, Manasseh Johnson has agreed to do that cover for us, and he uh, was kind enough to do this quick sketch. His, his schedule's a little bit uh, a little bit uh, hectic right now. I mean, he's, you know, doing all these doing work for like Kevin Hart and Steven Spielberg and all these other people. But uh, wow. there's Manasseh. Mm. Right mm. there, but yeah, wow. Manasseh's a beast. Yeah. He's incredible, and he is doing the the fourth cover. But like I said, he threw this this little sketch of Dame. I was texting him. I was like, "Yo, can you hook us up with a sketch so we can at least show people that you got skills that make meals?" And mm. uh, he was like, "Yeah." He he shot this over to me, and uh, we threw it up. Uh, once once he gets the cover completed, we'll we'll replace that. But we just wanted to show you that the man is legit and thorough. Oh. But. Um, We've got a couple of packages here. Um, like I said, we got the super official. You can, uh, when you select that, you can uh, uh, drop, you can just drop the menu down and select which cover you want. You can get the mm -hmm. Badlands Chugs, you can get, you can get the, uh, you know, Canis cover, you can get Elliot's cover, you can get Manassas. Uh, we got the five all day. That's our digital, you know, Dane got the five all day. And, <laughs> and one thing I was talking with Dame about, I know he didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to tax the food fam too much. There's some people that just, just love Dame and want to support and yeah. just, uh, you know, wanted to show him some love. So um, if, if that is you, uh, we can, uh, you know, you can just get a, a nice digital PDF of that for $5. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, we've got all the fame. All the fame is 
basically you select a copy a copy of super official and then you can also get a copy of uh, issue one of brand and you can get the fame book uh which are uh, two other books that we offer from a car press. so you can get that uh you can add that all in one package and, and we've got some nice little add-ons that you can get as you're going out the door and then we got the four out the door so mm-hmm. four out the door mm-hmm. is all four covers four out the door is the package with all four covers if you are on the yeah, if you're on the uh, pre-launch list, you should have a, a link. We we even uh, knocked off a little bit more off of that price uh, uh, for people that that uh, signed up for the pre-launch list. So uh, check your emails. Matter of fact, check your spam uh, uh, folders too, because I noticed sometimes when you do the mail list, it'll go to the city. So you might have it in this. Also, spam also folder. promotion right. folders too. Yeah, yeah. So um, and then okay, so here is. A copy of Super Official signed. If you actually want Dame to sign, we only sign it 500 of these. 500, baby. 500. So, I got y'all, baby. So, yeah, boom. And then we've got very limited uh, uh, four out the door signed, uh, just 100 of those of the complete set. So that's mm. it. Um, you know, that's all we're going to have. Uh, as you can see over here, this beautiful artwork from Kanan and, and Color. Jesse just did a fantastic job here. Uh, matter of fact, uh, that is right there on the corner. Uh, Kevin, was it Kevin Giles, our uh, name, my arch villain contest winner? Mm. So, yeah, uh, he is mm-hmm. going to be a character in Superficial because he came up with the name Vetch the Bully. So, we yeah. are very uh, happy to have him. He's thrilled to be in it. Okay, so we've got an interior cover that's going to be for sale from Demetrius Miller. Uh, you know, once, you know, we've got, like I said, we've got two stories in Super Official. So we got the main story with uh, versus the vegetable. And then we got Melee at Mofungo, which will co star Badlands Chugs, and they'll have Flavor and Triple D in it. Uh, so in between those chapter breaks, there will be a another little cover inside the book that, that will be done by Demetrius Miller. The original art is, of course, for sale if anyone wants to do it then of course we've got elliot fernandez's uh original art which is again right here so mm. uh yeah so that's that's what we're working with and uh let me show some love to mike s miller's campaign i appreciate you uh i know you're busy and uh, i appreciate you being here today uh let me pull up i've got it's in the description this is lone star mind of the monster uh mike tell us about lone star if uh-oh did I lose Mike? Uh oh. Oh yeah, we lost him on the audio piece. Oh no, that ain't good. Oh. Yeah, we can't hear you, Mike. No, I muted myself because everybody's making noise. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, Mike, tell us about Lone Star. <laughs> All right, Lone Star is a fallen soldier from World War II. He was a pilot, and uh, he he was offered a chance to uh, to go through a. a he was on his deathbed and he was offered a chance to go through a sort of a su- super secret, you know, program that would save his life, but he would have to um, like bail on like his family and everything. They'd all have to think he's dead. And he goes into this uh, secret organization called the unknown soldiers where they, uh, they hunt and destroy the monsters that plague the nightmares of men. So you got vampires, werewolves, uh, you know, chupacabras, whatever you got They're They're there to destroy them. And uh, this story arc goes through where we start in issue one, Heart of the Hero, which, by the way, copying Antonio, I'm giving away the first issue. If you scroll up, Antonio, to the very first paragraph right there, uh-huh. you can yes. go to the first, P- the first issue PDF for free. It's 56 pages of comic book goodness. Enjoy it. If you like it, think about backing the other, the other books, the other issues. This is issue three on this campaign. Which and I basically, have, it, have it's the story to. of, in the first issue, Lone Star takes out this uh, vampire pride, but the leader, Svarog, is, is, escapes and then causes all kinds of havoc uh, in between now and then. And then uh, uh, in issue three, we sort of start the first half of the issue with Svarog's origin story and then the final conclusive battle between Lone Star, Svarog, the rest of the unknown soldiers and Svarog's new vampire coven pride, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so, and I see you got all these variant covers. Uh, yeah. you, you like me, you like, uh, and you got some heavy hitters with these variant covers, brother. Yeah, uh, world famous. Everybody who's ever been on YouTube probably knows who Kim Jung Gi is. He's that oh, guy. Yeah. Just 
sit down with a big blank piece of, piece of paper and draw an entire cityscape with cows and horses and and machine guns and everything like all out of his head. Well, I got him to do a cover for me, uh, colored by the great Kelsey Shannon. Uh, it's I couldn't be more stoked with that cover. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I need to get Kelsey <laughs> back. Kel Kelsey, uh, Kelsey's been on my chat. I love Kelsey. He's awesome, dude. Yeah, he'll be on tonight on Drawn and Quartered. Oh okay. Well, Seven yeah, o'clock. So yeah. for those who don't know, uh, I do. I don't know how long you're going to run, Antonio, but you know I have drawn and quartered. Yeah, yeah. We just got okay, two hours. Yeah, at seven o'clock Pacific, it's the world's greatest comic book artist competition, and tonight we're drawing Gina Carana. So. Oh, from the Mandalorian. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Kelsey will be there. Kanan, if you're available, I'll save a seat for you. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Kari Evans cover. Um, yeah, I see it, man. Yeah, that, that one's mine right there. The final fight that's not final covers. This one's Kari Evans. Kari Evans is I've known him since I was like 19, 20 years old. Uh, one of the greatest unknown artists in comics because artists don't pay very well. I mean, comics don't pay very well, so he's been in video games most of that time. Mm. Uh, yeah, not but, that one. But, that one's me. Black and white. Oh, Kari did the black and white one. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's the artist uh -huh. who did uh, Daughters of the Dragon. I don't know if you remember that series. I do remember that series. Yeah, so good, man. So good. Look at that. I like that flag in the background too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the. Cool, yeah. And then this this is not final covers on this, but this is my Angel Has Fallen or Fallen mm -hmm. Angel cover. Um, it's an homage to uh, X Men, I think. One oh, the the Dark Phoenix, uh, with he, uh, Cyclops, yeah, Terry Cyclops that's, yeah. right, that's right. Was that's right. John? Was it John Byrne, Terry Austin? Yep, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, then, and then Paolo Pentolina just woo! turned it yesterday. Look at that. Smoke. I love his stuff. I follow him on Instagram. So oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. And there's some uh, example pages of the hard work. Look at the detail I'm putting in this project. Yeah, I, I oh, see man. that. I actually thought that was. I remember you showed me this a while back, and I thought it was your Game of Thrones because I know you do mm -hmm. what the Hedge Knight or yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For the, for well, the no, Game of Thrones book. Svarog is an eight hundred year old vampire, so I had to start ah. back in twelfth century Ru uh, Russia. <laughs> ah, but I literally, but I saw it. I was like, oh, this must be for the Hedge Knight or something. I thought you were doing <laughs> another Game of Thrones book, and you were like, no, that's Lone Star. Yeah. And I was like, oh wow, okay. I, so. I don't know, man. I guess you should have done some. Uh, uh, so God bless you, Dame. You. Um, maybe mm -hmm. I should have done some medieval. I just love drawing armies fighting for some reason. It's like you're a glutton for punishment, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but let me say, okay, so we'll have uh Kanan is back uh on the drawing boards and everything. So whew, I'm like, yeah, man, we we uh but yeah, we appreciate. I see that it looks like we uh have a a backer or two. Already, let me see. Oh, yeah, we are sitting at uh 249 dollars. We've gotten eight backers so far, and appreciate uh, that. Appreciate yeah, that. Man, yeah, it's it's coming along, so uh, appreciate. Uh, and I see some people are responding to the five all day, so uh, we appreciate uh, the people that are, are uh, that five all day is uh, it's 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 all day for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, I, I appreciate. Uh, and let's see, we got some folks in the chat. Let me say hello to. There's a lot of folks in the chat. Let me see here. Uh, hello, Skits Comics. Uh, and uh, let's see, Chauncey Blakey. Uh, I see. Yeah, we. Yeah, he's been mod on my channel for like forever in like four days. And uh, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, that's Kanan, I love watching you work, but that's mm -hmm. that's still cheating. Well, the digital, yeah, <laughs> <sighs> that, that's what helps him uh, get it, get everything see fast, done. See how fast he filled in that black? He just dragged it over and dropped it in and fill. Yeah, like, yeah, cheat, <laughs> cheat, cheat, cheater. Yeah, so. <laughs> Utilizing the tools, Mike. I'm utilizing. The tools. Okay, so you twenty nine nine says, "Dang, I was almost the first backer, but was too slow. Had to sell for number four. Four out the door. Okay, four yeah, out the door." door. Yeah, out the door. We appreciate you. Uh, yeah, that's uh, we, we like I said, we uh, but there are some uh, like I said, I know uh, the the mailing list. One thing I noticed about it, it kind of staggers and uh, you know, like sends out a, a, a little slew and then sends out another slew. So as people come in and get, like I said, I sent it out to a couple thousand people, 
Um, so I know, uh, like I said, check your spam folders and all that stuff. If you didn't get it or just send me a, a DM or email, I'm more than happy to, if you are, uh, didn't get that list and, and, uh, I will send you the links. Uh, let me see. Uh, Derek Pittman says, Dame, I am high for the comic. Gonna be a collector. Derek Pittman, yeah. appreciate you. Appreciate oh, you, Pittman. You know what I'm saying? Aha. Uh -huh. This this is our contest winner right here. This yes, is yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Sir Cal. Sir Cal, he, he is. Who, who will be a, a character uh, in uh, Super Official? So nice. yeah, this is. Oh uh, man, you still drink? Yeah. Uh oh. What 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 you doing, Mike? What you doing, Mike? I'm like, yes, Mike. Come on, bro. I'm like, Sorry, oh. I'm trying to throw Kanan off. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm like, <laughs> he threw me off, man. <laughs> you need to do. Now I, I'm I'm okay, Let me see, Mike. Next week. Dame yeah. drops night on Drawn and Quarter. Ooh, ooh, do it. Dame drops night on Drawn and Quarter. <laughs> like, Let's do it. Let's do it. And then, yeah, have all these fancy artists uh, uh, draw Mister Drops yep. and uh, see see how that re yeah see how people respond to that. So I'm like, uh, but I mean, Dame, let me ask you. Um, yes, sir. Cause I've been watching you. You you just got back a few weeks ago. You had been out there. Uh, you have a TV show coming up. I know you haven't really. You've been kind of keeping it close to the vest on the TV show. I, right. I, so I suspect I'm not gonna get any exclusives here today. <laughs> but uh, um, I, you were everywhere. It looked like you were out in Cali and you were out uh -huh. in like Colorado. And I saw you St. Yep. Louis. You were down in Alabama and Georgia and Ohio. Yes, you were shooting all over the place. What can you tell us about that and, and uh, about the time frame? I know it was it going through Ugly Brothers Productions and all yeah, that. so they reached out to me some time ago and had an idea. It just started out as a small idea. Two young brothers, you know what I'm saying, Mike and Tim, and they were just like, "Dame, we can vision you on a particular show that you get to make your own." Now, for those that don't know, back in 2013, I had a television show, Best Damn Takeout, on Travel Channel they allowed a little bit of Dame drops, but not too much Dame drops. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Whereas here, Tim mm. and Mike were like, we want all of Dame drops and then some of Dame and Patterson and just want to blend the two together to make this show really come to life. So they sent some cats over from Philly over to my crib to just do a little quick pilot shoot, right? The network that received this pilot shoot, they were like, we're going to just take this straight to series. We're not even going to have a pop. We're just taking it straight to series. We're going to give you eight episodes. It's going to be bananas. We believe in you. Awesome. Here's some money. Go make it happen. Mm. You know what wow. I'm saying? Nice. So, unfortunately, the way That's that COVID cool. had worked out, we were supposed to start filming back in March. And, of course, with COVID and everything else, that shut that down. We couldn't leave until July. Mm. Eight weeks on the road straight. And every single Friday, we were going pretty much, and into a whole new city, new state, whatever the case may have been, and filmed at a couple different locations. The best part about this show is that not only am I dealing with restaurant owners, I'm literally going up to your house, bro, eating in your crib, in your backyard, chopping it up with the family. Yeah. Um, and so okay. now we're going to take food to a whole new heightened level where it's not just inside a restaurant, eating the food, doing a quick review, but getting more into the backstory of individuals that came up from nothing mm -hmm. and they were able to build their, their food empire from nothing. You're able to get the grit of the story and get hungry at the same exact time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, it's just called Project Dame. There's an actual name for the show with the network. I can't say the name just yet, but the moment they give me the green light after everything's said and done, trust me, you know I'm going hard on the marketing and promo tip for next year, early next year, it's gonna be, I, I'll say this much, we're up here. We're, like, I'm out of the screen right now. That's, <laughs> that, that's, where, we're at. <laughs> that's, that's where we at. Yeah, nice. so, let me, okay, so you can't drop, cause that's one thing, I was like, what network are you was like? <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, 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 you can't even, yeah. Yeah. You can't even say, it's yeah. on the travel channel, it's on I ABC. Say, I, I'll say this much, uh, yeah, it's the travel channel is here in comparison to where I'm going. 
Ooh. Oh, wow. Mm. Uh, oh. I can say that much. Nice. Okay. I, mean, I, 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 I can say that much. And uh, let me, matter of so, fact, let me, if, we're, if we were doing a network scale, you just got to work out that scale in your head. Travel channels here, where I'm going here. And okay, so let me okay. So I'm I'm looking forward to your show, and I also wanted to uh, I wanted to ask uh, Mr. Chugs there. Um, I saw you. What was it about two or so weeks ago? You were on. I, it came on after the Tonight Show on network television. You were on some television show on NBC. I don't know what that. It was like y'all were eating food and stuff. So I don't know uh, tell, what was going on there. And I don't know if you have any other. I always see your little manscape stuff and your little rapping and all that. So, I mean, what's, <laughs> so what all you got going on? Well, um, I, I think um, if I remember correctly, um, the only time I was on NBC, I mean, I was on. Jay Leno back in the days for a little bit, just a little bit. And um, I did the Jimmy Fallon show, you know, me and a couple of, um, you know, comparative leaders. We had, you know, did a few, like, you know, Jimmy Fallon likes to do, like, a lot of skits. So so we, we was up there, and we just chopped it up a little bit. It was a good a good time, you know. Jimmy Fallon is cool. You know, meeting the Roots was like a dream come true because oh, you know how the Roots get there. Man. Oh, man, you know, Black Thought was there. Quest Love was there. I think Dice Raw was there, and and, and a couple and uh, like three new cats was there, and it's, and it was just awesome. It was just awesome. But but yeah, you know, I've been on a few shows, you know, what I'm saying um, and but, but right now, you you know, just basically um, you know, doing a YouTube thing, doing the chugs, kind of trying to keep it fresh, you know, giving the um, subscribers what they want, you know, asking them what they want, and um, I think um, and, you know, this um. You know, trying to give the subscribers something that they never saw before, like, like you know, this is going to be my next chug. I mean, I'm, I know all oh, y'all remember this, all right, but y'all know what this is, right? Oh, oh, mm. oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Straight, straight. straight hood stuff, tropical fantasy, hundred <laughs> percent artificial. <laughs> Really? Food punch. They even redid the the bottle, but you know, <laughs> you know, oh, just man. just trying to just trying to give them what they want and just make it you know creative and, and giving them stuff that they've never seen before, you know. And it's just just having fun with it, pretty much. I was like, don't touch that mouse. Oh, don't touch that mouse. mouse. Okay, don't so okay, <laughs> um, we wanted to do. Uh, I see, you know, because right now Dame is giving away Xboxes and Playstations and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh. I mean, yeah, he he got a, he got the hookup. He got he got the Peruvian connect on the Xbox <laughs> and the I Playstation. See. Yeah, man. So, uh, but yeah. we, we we wanted to follow in Dame's footsteps. So let me let me steal Kane's spotlight right here. Okay, so we've got something special for. Two of our backers that back super official. These are one of a kind items. Okay, uh, that Demetrius Miller hooked up. Here is number one. Oh, uh, this is wow. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So wow. I'm going to give yeah. this away once once we close the campaign out. I'm going to do a drawing. Anybody that orders a physical copy of Super Official, mm. you will automatically be entered into the drawing. And uh, there, we only printed we printed 3,900 copies of brand. This is a first printing. We only printed a hundred of the sketch covers, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So here is uh, Mr. Dame drops on one. Like I said, shout out to Demetrius who will be drawing melee at Mafungo. Demetrius uh, and okay, right. and then. Here Ooh. is the other one. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. God! Look at Give it that. To Give it to uh -oh. him. Uh oh. Woo. Oh yes. If that, is, that, is, that, is, that is hot. Look at that. Yeah, that's yes, what I'm sir. saying. So yeah. Whoa. He hit you with that spice. Oh, I got, I got, I got, yo, keep that up. Okay, I gotta take a picture of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm like, I will work right for y'all or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I just screamed oh, something right there. Oh yeah, but like I said, anybody that that orders a physical copy of uh of super official, i.e., we have something where uh, an address we can ship to you. You will automatically be entered into this, and then when the when the campaign is over, we're going to draw, and uh, you might find a little something extra in your package when it comes uh -oh. out. So, uh oh, so. uh oh. That's and Tony, you say you saying they're about to get a perk, a Call of Duty perk? Uh oh, <laughs> a Call of Duty perk? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That I mean, like I said, we we hooking it up. So if you are out there 
And uh, yeah, if, if you out there and you, because uh, like I said, we, we've got people. Let me, matter of fact, let me check that again. I saw we got yeah. some more orders in. And uh, let me see as we've been going along. Okay, so we're sitting at uh, $454 now. And uh, so it's going right. along. Uh, right. We appreciate it. So we've only been up appreciate for. But yeah, so what? So yeah, th those are one of a kind. Like I said, we only we only uh, of the first printing, we only printed a uh, hundred of the sketch covers, and most of them, um, most of them were only uh, you know sketched on by Kane because we sold like what what was it? you did like sixty sketch covers. Yeah, um, it was a lot. Uh, wow. So yeah, let me see. Let's see here. Mm. Let's see, Terra Wombat. Uh, let me see. He says the brand and fame add-ons don't seem to be available on some of the perks. Yeah, it's. I'm not sure exactly which perk because we we had the like the all-in-one, which is the all of fame, the the all of fame perk where you can get like say you can get a copy of Super Official and then you can get uh, brand book one and the fame book all in one. That's uh, th that would be the main one. And then you can you can even add on as you're checking out. You can add on some of the other covers because you know you might like two of the covers or just three of the covers. You may not want all four of the covers. And you'd be like, okay, well I'm gonna get the uh, Badlands Chuffs cover and I want to get Elliot's cover. And uh, so you can just throw it on there like that. And uh, that's one of the things about checkout. But if there is something in particular you want. Uh, that you're not seeing, uh, send me a message on on the Twitter or send me a DM, and uh, yeah, I can uh, see can I get that hooked up because mm. we, we we want your patronage. So if there's something you're That's not true. seeing, let me uh, know, and if we need to make something special for you, we'll hook it up. That's uh, customer nice. service, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's that's what we do. So, but uh, yeah, just just let me know. But yeah, I, I'm like. Okay, uh, like I said, we've only been up for what thirty six minutes, and uh, I, I see people are coming and and they're supporting, so we we definitely appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, but like, okay, Dame, you another thing I would want to ask you about: you're doing the podcast thing now, so what's going on with that? All right, so basically, I mean, at the end of the day, regardless what talents we all have, we have so much to offer, and strong enough in the YouTube space, if individuals follow you long enough for one thing, that is the bubble and box that they want to place you in. Like, you can't do anything else. Yeah. Although I know when I came up, my thought was I would never be doing YouTube. I figured one day I was just going to be on radio anyway. Like, that, that was the plan. I was going to go to school of broadcasting out here in Connecticut. I was going to have my own radio show. It was going to be crazy. That, that was the plan. And then YouTube came along. And so I was like, okay, I'll go that direction with the podcast for the longest period of time what a lot of people don't know is i used to write i used to do stand-up poetry and i was doing it for about a good 15 years so out here in connecticut mm. we had innovation centers where like once a week like on a wednesday or a thursday night you had a whole entire hour with a whole entire team of individuals just off the top going crazy just you know saying spoken word I would have a field day with it. That, that was my passion. That's what I love doing. And even before the food reviews on YouTube, back in 2007, I had a whole entire different YouTube channel called Smooth Daddy. It, it's now long gone, but Smooth Daddy, was that was pure poetry. It was mm -hmm. every upload was just me, my thoughts. I was putting it out there, and then I shut that down. Mm -hmm. With the podcast, it allows me to explore that written side of myself when it comes to sex and relationships. So individuals, of course, like the day before I do the podcast, I'll put out a question on my Instagram and then all the feedback that comes, we try to incorporate that into the podcast with whatever guests we have. Now, of course, we have a lot of, you know, beautiful ladies that come onto the podcast. Uh, I saw the one you had on, uh, the young lady with the OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she was uh, rather yeah. interesting. Yeah. I thought, uh, yeah. <laughs> I had to follow her and start liking her pictures. Uh, 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 people that, that know me, uh, they know I, I always try to get a little strange for some change. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm always out there uh, just, uh, who we, we know Anne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, I was like, oh, she got the OnlyFans going. Okay. Right. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's mm -hmm. definitely for the grown and sexy. 
kids do not listen to the podcast. Don't watch it on YouTube. You know, <laughs> we had all kinds of sex toys on there last episode. Look, if you're grown and sex, you got to be grown. 18 and older, really 21 and older. But you know what I'm saying? If you could drink, you could watch the podcast. So we'll just keep it 21 and older. <laughs> gotcha. mm, mm, mm. Well, 21 and older. I yeah. love that. But yeah, that's why I was like, I noticed your Instagram presence and your YouTube presence are two different personalities. <laughs> yeah. So you're it's a little different. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, it's all it's all different facets of the same being. But uh, my goodness, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I know a lot of people that watch me on YouTube. They expect to see the same thing when they come to my Instagram channel. Like they they would want to see previews of what I'm going to review next to eat or just food that I have. But like that's all they expect to see. Except when you come into the house of Dame, you are going to get <laughs> Dame. Like YouTube forced us to be G-rated PG-13 for the kids. And it's understandable. I have no problem with that. I could do that all day. But I'm still me. Like, before YouTube, I was already R and X-rated. I came into the world where I had to be more Disney-rated so I could open up to a larger audience, and then the families could take me in. However, if you leave the house of Disney, you're back mm. in the real world. And when you come into the real world, you come into my house, I'm going to have a 40 ounce in one hand and a bottle of honey in the other. And I'm going to take it to the wig, you know what I'm saying, while knocking back a, a big league chew, whatever the case may be. And I'm going to have myself a field day. I'm going to have a good, a good old time. That's just me. I came up from the hood like everybody else off black exploitation films. There's nothing G rated about me. <laughs> we got uh, let's see, uh, uh, Jay Gentile, 70, uh, 1976 on uh, Periscope saying, uh, hit the launch already. It we are live, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're live right now. Uh, matter of fact, how do, you, uh, how do you get to Periscope? Yeah, well, I mean, you just link it to your Twitter. I'm oh. surprised you don't stream to your Periscope when you're doing uh, drawn and quartered. I don't even. Teach me your ways. Okay, well we need to, yeah, we need to chop it up because I was like, that's I'm, I'm always surprised by that. I was like, I was like, you got a decent amount of uh, Twitter followers. Why aren't you streaming on Periscope to those people? I have no idea what it is. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta link. Yes, well, go to go to Periscope and sign up, and then link your Twitter accounts, and then link it to your stream yard, and you should be able to do. It. Yeah, I'm doing it. Matt Cannon, I, I see you have Badlands actually spilling out liquid. That man don't spill a single drop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Let that man work. That man is doing an amazing job. Nah, I, 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 I can't figure out if I wanted to make it like a container that he carries with him or something, or probably yeah. like a jug or something. You know? nah, it looks good, man. Alex, what up? Thank you. So okay. Wow. So yeah, yeah. Alex, Alex, yeah, five all day. Yeah, I appreciate five all day, five baby. All day. And then uh yeah, we are at uh, we're almost at six hundred. Uh, I saw we were at five seventy one. So uh, yeah, so yo, real quick, man, I just want to give a shout out to everybody that's supporting the campaign for Super Official. Man, you guys are amazing. You know the whole entire team that you're you're looking at right now, plus the other individuals that couldn't even be on. You know what I'm saying this live broadcast. We greatly appreciate every last one of y'all. We just want to bring you the very best of Super Official, the very best of my main man Badlands, and of course all of the other projects that these artists before you have been working on. We just want to be able to collectively support the whole entire comic book movement because yeah. that's the one thing that's timeless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I remember yeah. when in my youth, and then now I can share it with my kids. And the greatest part about this is when they open that comic book, they're going to see their father's face. Yes, sir. That's the greatest feeling in the world. Mm. These yeah. gentlemen right here were able to make that happen. So that's a blessing upon blessing right there. I don't think I did that good a likeness, though. I don't know. <laughs> nah, you, you got that, baby. You got that crispiness on. It's okay. Man. Do, do we need to? Do we need to do some plastic surgery on the? <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, mean, I was like, yeah. So, okay. Uh, Uncle Beanbag says I bought it. All right. Well, thank you, yeah. Uncle Beanbag. We appreciate you. Appreciate uh, you, bro. Yes. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. Bro. Thank you. But yeah, it's out there. Yeah, it's official, like a referee and a whistle. Uh, okay. let, me, let me see. Okay, so Kanan. Yes, you sir. are drawing, and it looks like it is. Uh, you are drawing like it almost looks like a Wolverine cover or something. It, mm, kinda, it, it does, it really, yeah. Well, it's just kind of like showing you know the dynamic duo kind of pose thing. So, 
Mm-hmm. You got Chugs in the back. You know, Chugs, you in the front, Chugs, and then uh, Dame, you in the, the back. Dame in the back, yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. The Evil Tomato, uh, uh, tomato <laughs> from the background there. So, yeah, just a little pinup. Something, mm-hmm. something. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I see it, though. It looks, uh, man, but, yeah, that, that definitely reminds me of a Wolverine cover, but I don't know what you use uh, to kind of get your mindset ready. So, um let me see here. On the brain, man. On the brain. And Uncle Beanbag says, I'm uh, both big fans of Dame and Badlands. Glad to support. So, uh, appreciate we, you, bro. Appreciate we, you. We definitely, uh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. man. We we definitely do that. So, let me. Uh, so, Dame, you are also supposed to start uh, start shooting some more stuff for the Rachel Ray show. And it sounded like that got sidetracked a little bit. Yeah, um, man. Oh, like, that, yo. I know for a lot of individuals at home, COVID and this whole pandemic messed up a lot of things for you. It trust me, on my end too. I, I'm glad to be in a position where I can still try to work around it. But as far as the Rachel Ray show, I was already five seasons deep. We we're about to start working on the next season, and it just it just derailed everything in that aspect, just because you know we can't be around each other like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. So it, it sucks, man. And I just hope, honestly, you know we can get up through this and we can get beyond it. I know it's going to take a minute. I know everybody's kind of scaling back, going back to phase two right now. And, you know, mm-hmm. more home training with the kids and making it difficult for a lot of parents out there, just try to figure everything out with the online learning. But, uh, you know, just to let you know, man, you strength in numbers, you know, we just got to stick together and, and figure our way around the madness. But, hey, you know what? Yep. We got the super official comic right here. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let that be the start since we're stuck inside the house anyway. Right. Let's be <laughs> stuck in the house. It's, it's funny everybody talks about COVID and being locked down, man. But you know, as Mike can attest, that's just another Tuesday for our home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't the only thing that sucks is not, not being able to go to restaurants together, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me – okay. California down again. So it's oh, like, oh, yeah, I saw that on the news. Yeah. So, so irritating. Let's see. Okay. Aha. So we got a, a, a Kusho D man. Quick shout out right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Appreciate man, we appreciate you. Since middle school, that's a that's a hot minute right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, okay. Well, we got more with uh, uh, Mr. Uh, D there, but we're we about to bring him back. But let me see. Uh, JJ Chill says, uh, backer number 15. Sorry, I didn't notice the email for the launch. I'm excited to flip through. All right. Oh, oh, there you go. Nice. Appreciate nice. that. Nice. Um, let me. Let me, let, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me pull this up here. Okay, so hey, this, Antonio, this, do you, you want do you want to drop the uh, the link to the that preview book you gave out? It's on the top of it's on the very top of the thingy there. But I mean, like, I mean, Mike, oh. you got my yeah. You can drop it in the chat if you want. But it's oh, if you go, that. yeah, I would like yeah. I, not, not on the top of the chat. I'm saying if you go to damecomic.com, if you go to the Indiegogo page, it's the very top of the Indiegogo link. Oh, cool, yeah, cool, so. cool. Yeah, let people know. There's there's a free PDF preview book you can go download at the at the campaign. So uh, I also sent it out in the uh, when I when I sent out the little uh, pre-launch list. I sent a direct link to it in there. All right, so, cool. I'll um, drop it in the uh, chat for everybody. So check it out. The beautiful art. It's uh, it's it's amazing. So uh, everybody, get in there, check it out. If you if you don't know if you like comic books, give it a read, give it a look. Uh, you'll fall in love with the art form, just like Dame did, just like all of us here did. Comic mm-hmm. was like you know, third grade on for me was uh, I was hooked. So okay, so got me, oh no doubt. But let me see. Uh, I don't have the garbage bag full. full. That that sounds fun. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So we, we got to put the spotlight on uh, Hakusho D, uh, yeah. also known as uh, Devaron Scoville. Okay. Uh, Scoville. Uh, Scoville. He is, uh, yeah, Devaron Scoville. He is going to be the winner of our uh, Dame Drops uh, Superficial Art Contest. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, let me, uh, yeah, we had we had a, a few entries, and uh, let me let me pull his his entry up. Uh, I know I was going over winners with uh, Dame, and this is him right here. This is, this is also him on the gram. So yeah, this is um, this is one of the entries for uh, the superficial. I appreciate uh, people that were tagging me on Twitter and and on uh, 
uh, uh, Twitter and Instagram as well. But this is uh, here. It is the entry uh, that uh, Dame Dame felt uh, captured his spirit. It, it spoke to him. And, uh, that, that eye, man. That eye. This. You know, when it when it comes to having to look at yourself in a different light, individuals capture you in so many ways. You know what I'm saying? And for anybody that put forth any given effort. To, to draw me of all individuals, I'm humbled all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what I love to do is put out positive energy out there. You know what I'm saying? And to have fun with food reviews and all that good stuff. But you never know who you affect at the end of the day or how long they've been following you as an individual and what you've done for them personally to uplift them. You know what I'm saying? To be an inspiration to them. So for individuals to take time out of their busy days and out of their schedules, to, to be a part of this, you know, it's like one of the greatest feelings in the world. True. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like you said, I've, I've been uh, really, really excited to check everything out, man. So it's, uh, and when we did the preview, um, the preview turned out incredible. I was really proud of everybody. We were just kind of scrambling. Uh, yeah, we, we were trying to scrambling and try to get everything ready. Cause I was like, man, we only got a couple more days. We gotta get this thing ready to go. <laughs> And uh, we started dropping it out there, and you know, I was surprised. I mean, a couple hundred people were like checking it out after we started spreading the link around. So that's uh, that, that's always a good feeling. So uh, you know, you you can get uh, in that preview, you you see uh, five pages. I mean, they got you know full color with the letters and special effects and all that kind of stuff. You uh, you see uh, Kanan's cover in the preview, and then we also uh, put. Uh, 21 pages of uh, brand book one in there and uh, a couple pages uh, preview of the fame book from Demetrius Miller. So you can kind of see what he's working with. So it, it works out. So you're producing so, yeah. a lot of stuff, Antonio. What, what, what was that? I said, you're producing a lot of stuff. It's yeah, I'm trying to, <laughs> to, to do Hard work so, man. Yeah, man. I'm like, but this is uh Man, I, I've really enjoyed working on this comic and and you know kind of doing doing this you know just doing that and then working on uh, Brand Way of the Gun. Uh, Kanan Kanan gave me a couple pages the other day and uh, we we've been out there. So yeah, we've been really uh, excited to let everybody see some of some some pages we can't show because they would like ruin surprises and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But uh, but yeah, this is um, I don't know uh, Kanan. What what are your thoughts, especially like I remember when I, I talked to you about super official, what did you kind of think about like when when I, I know it was crazy? I was like, okay, so he's like a superhero and he yeah. takes a bite of a burger. And I, I don't know what I mean, yeah. you've been asked to draw all kind of different things, so I don't know yeah, what I mean. It, it was I mean it was it was uh you kind of said he was kind of the Shazam premise. So you know, it was like you know, in the concept, right? I just didn't want to make them. I wanted, and I know you asked me why I made him red. You know, the reason why I made you red, Dame, is like, you know, I don't know, I'm speaking comic talk, so anybody who's listening to probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you know, just let it go over your head. <laughs> no, but you know, like, like X Men, like, uh, like Bishop, like when he would take punches or he would take energy and he would gather energy and he could like channel it back. Well, your your character is like an absorber, so he takes the energy of the food, and instead of just you know just becoming part of the body, it actually becomes like kinetic energy. And so mm. he eats, you know, he stores it, and he gets bigger and bigger. But you know, what I'm saying so, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe he can increase in size. I don't know how, you know, how, like big, you know, what I'm saying like giant man or something. But right now, you know, just that burger, you know, that energy he took and actually became part of him. And so when he yeah, it was out superficial. You know that's when he changes into that that you know his 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 other persona. So um, I thought the concept was cool, man. I love the fact of you know just something lighthearted, you know, action um, in your face. You know, you know, see from the pages, man. You know, still trying to capture Dame's vibe. You know, through the whole thing. You know, so like you like you go on this like little rhyming tangent, man, which is awesome. <laughs> like we you like talking about food. You know? I wanted to like incorporate that. Now, as you said, you did spoken word, man. It makes sense. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, you know, and then you know the things you know that you know that he's gonna encounter. Like I said, you know, it's, it's just you know it's dynamic, man. It, it was it was fun. It's fun, you know. Just kind of, I mean, I, I, that's the beauty I think of working with so many indie creators and 
that's what a lot of people don't understand. You don't have to necessarily be a comic creator, but you have a story to tell. Mm-hmm. You know, you can be creative, you know, and you always have, you know, it doesn't always have to be something deep. You know, it can be something just lighthearted, you know, that people can enjoy. And so um, this this comic, man, a superficial comic, definitely um, is kind of in that vein. You know, I know it'll get in some, some you know, deep territory because it does some crossovers with other stuff, man. But um, just when we introduced, you know, your, your character, Chugs, and then the two other bad guys, I was like, dang, man, you got a universe, dude. You're like, you're like building people. You know, I was thinking like spinoffs with just some of the villains. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, I so, think uh, Flavor and Triple D are gonna be fun. I might uh, yeah. want to use them in some other things. But let's see, we got a super chat from uh, Eddie Winkler here. Let me pull that up. He says, "Hey, all hope everyone is well. Not too familiar with Dame Drops, but I'll give it a look. I love positivity. I am, however, a fan of Kenny and Antonio. So I just back. Congrats and good luck. Yeah. Well, thanks, Eddie. And I know Kanan did a cover. What was it?" What was it Shadow of the Wolf? I know your your yeah. book is the one with the uh, all the yeah the wolves and he got like carried. I mean it looks really cool. I know you're getting close to launching if you if you uh, have it. I was like uh, yeah, Kanan did uh, a really uh, really good job on that cover. Yeah, and I was like he knocked it out, man. And I was like so yeah, uh, salute yeah. Eddie. I appreciate you uh, coming by and uh, appreciate you supporting the super Definitely. official. So yeah, so uh, appreciate that definitely. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm like, this is, this is, like I said, um, Kanan, you know, once we uh, get everything finalized on Kanan's part and then uh, getting with Demetrius and getting him to, uh, you know, to knock his pages out. So, you know, that's why we we wanted to make sure that uh, the book got done, you know, so we, we've got basically two full length comic books in one, you know, yeah, so it, it's going to be, it's going to be really tight and then. Uh, my man Jesse uh, Hagee is doing double duty and uh, just coloring cool. this whole thing up, you know. So it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool, man. I'm really excited uh, to see Superficial. But uh, I remember, Dame, when I was kind of because obviously I didn't want to just write a story. I wanted to kind of. I was like, okay, well, this is his book, so let me kind of figure out a story, mm-hmm. you know. And I remember I came to you. And I was like, okay, so if you were going to do a comic, what would your comic be about? Yeah. And then you started kind of dropping, um, you know, uh, you, you know, you start kind of dropping the plots out there and letting letting me know. And I was like, okay, so once you once you do that, I'm able to take that and expand on it, mm-hmm. you know, and just you know, and I think what we've come up, especially for the for the super official story, I think is is really cool. And then. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about the melee at Mafungo story because I what kind of popped in my head for that was I was flipping through some old comics and I saw those ho- those old uh, Hostess Twinkie ads and stuff <laughs> they used to put they used to put them in there right yep yep so that is you know and I, I was like hmm i was like what if we do you know it's going to be kind of more lighthearted i think superficial is more serious mm-hmm. and then like melee and mafungo is supposed to be a little bit more over the top and and fun and i'm i'm looking forward to like working on that one as well just kind of uh, picking your brain but you opened up a uh, mafungo restaurant uh, you yeah. know, tell us about that because I mean, you 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 got a, a restaurant now, so what's mm-hmm. going on with that? So basically, for for those that have been following me for a while, they still remember the, the owner of Mafungo. His name is Vincent Placetas. I met him. He had Mafungo in New Britain, but straight up the street, he had opened a, a more casual dining spot called the Kitchen. I knew what the Kitchen was before it became the Kitchen, which was Grand Pizza. Now, when you walked in, there were steps that led downstairs. They were using that as a gigantic storage space for the most part. But if they cleaned it up, you could have turned it into a, a nightclub. That's how large it was. Mm, wow. When Vincent purchased it from the guy who had owned Grand Pizza, turned it to the kitchen. When I went to do a food review at the kitchen, I ended up meeting Vincent that day. He and I kind of just chopped it up, really didn't know each other, you know, but I was just talking about the downstairs area. And I was like, Vince, you could do so much down here, so much for the community. We don't have anything for like a night lounge. I would love to invest in your downstairs area and turn it to like Dame Drop Cellar, 
do like, you know, jazz on the weekends, whatever the case may be. Yes. He's like, sure. He loved the idea. So that's what I did. I invested, brought a team in, cleaned it up down there, and it could hold like over a little over 100 people. And of course, it's all pre COVID. So <laughs> every weekend, it was packed down there. I mean, it was crazy. Unfortunately, he had to end up closing the restaurant down after some time simply because he wasn't getting the same amount of customer traffic as he was getting at Mafungo. So mm. he had robbing Peter to pay Paul, taking all the profit from Mafungo and then putting it back into the kitchen, that just wasn't going to work. Ends up closing it down, but he didn't want me to take it as a loss. So he was like, hey, listen, man, I'll give you a percentage of Mafungo. You know, we, we could just work together via blah, blah, blah. No problem. Fast forward probably about a good two and a half years, he had an opportunity to open his third location, and it happened to be in Windsor, Connecticut. Yeah. And he remembered when he opened his second location of me saying, hey, listen, if you plan on turning this into you know, a kind of situation, you plan on keep growing up, I would love to be a part of it because I believe in your vision of the food. I've had the food multiple times at Mofungo. I love Spanish food to begin with. My wife, she's Hispanic, you know what I'm saying? So look, if we, there's a way we could link up, we could bring our forces together, I want to be a part of that. So while I was away filming for Project Dame, he ends up contacting me about a third location possibility. He was like, look, I remember you said you want to buy into it and be become partners. Here's our opportunity. I saw the pictures. I called the wife. I told her, go ahead and get the check. Bring it to that man. Boom, boom. Literally, I get home on September 11th. We had that restaurant open September 15th. It's, it was built for takeout. So it was built to with, you know what I'm saying, withstand the whole entire COVID situation anyway. You walk in, you see the setup, very much similar to like a Subway, but with all Spanish foods. Mm. Order it, boom, you're up out of there. And so we've been doing good since the day we opened, bro. That's you know what I'm saying? More, more blessings on top of blessings. The community out there in Windsor came together. We now have the Dame Drop Soul Bowl. So we have yes. Soul food yes. infused with that Spanish food. And basically what the Dame Drop Soul Bowl is, you're thinking collard greens, yams, baked mac and cheese, cornbread with honey butter, and then you can top it with whatever, you know, protein, be it the, the fried chicken pieces, be it pernil, whatever you like, you know what I'm saying? Or you don't have to get meat at all. But, uh, you know, we're just building on that and looking at what we're going to do next. Yeah, okay. Well, let me, I see uh, we've got Elliot Fernandez in the chat for some reason. Ellie, you got the link, man. Hop in and hang out with us, man. Uh, let's see, we got uh, we got Dame for about fifty eight more minutes. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, come hang out with us. But yeah, Elliot Fernandez, uh, he did our cover C. Uh, you know, on uh, Superficial, he is in the chat. So if you are, if you are still out there, Elliot, we love you, brother. And uh, and uh, we also have a link uh, in in the yeah. So you got the link, man. Come hang out with us, brother. Hey, uh, Antonio, real quick. Yes, sir. Look, Miss Lady J, uh, I, I want to talk about this woman real quick. Oh, man. oh, okay. Hold on. Let's let's get her. <laughs> Boom. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. She needs a bowl. Some of milk. All right. Yeah, the soul yeah, bowl. Man. I know everybody in this chat right now, as far as everybody that's on the in the main green room. You remember when you started what your passion is when it comes to drawing, when it comes to writing stories. You remember when you started. You remember when you started building your your base of, of subscribers, of, of an audience. The one thing you'll never forget is the individuals that supported you through everything from the very beginning to right now. Yeah. And I told you to pull up Miss Lady J because I'm telling you right now, everything that I started and I stopped since the beginning of me starting YouTube Moving over into food since 2009, she has been the one main system person that has been with me for that long. For every yo, every name change, dude, every idea that I had that I decided not to do anymore, for, for merchandise I put out years ago, like she has always been right there to support you. Know, and that, that's why I look like I call her my sister at this point because she's family to me. And I never met the woman a day in my life. But that's, that's why I'm about to ask you, y'all actually met you a long way, forever. So that that's my forever that we're looking at right now, yeah. Mm. Okay, so Dame, let's actually go back in your history because, um, you know, a, a lot of people that may not f be familiar there. I remember when I started telling people about this project, they didn't actually know the name Dame Drops, and then I would show yeah. your picture, and they would go. 
five guys. <laughs> and they would know because that video I know on your channel's got over 10 million views. Mm -hmm. And then there was a song with it and all this kind yes. of thing. So what happened there? How did that okay. happen? <laughs> I remember when I went viral, it was back in 2012. That's when I did the Five Guys food review. Every review that I had before Five Guys, it, I mean, it would do well. Like, it would do about 500 views, 1,100 views, nothing, nothing too crazy. When I did that food review, that's literally when my life changed. I remember getting a mm. message on Facebook from a gentleman. He was like, Dame, hey, to let, let you know, I loved your Five Guys review. I put it on Reddit. I never heard of Reddit at that time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, that, that's cool, whatever. When he sent me that message, Five Guys Review at the time was my best performing video. I had a probably, I want to say about 300 videos at the time. Five Guys was the best performing. Within like the first week, I was close to about 3,000, 4,000 views, somewhere, somewhere in that bubble. I kid you not. After he sent me that message, the following day I wake up. And the reason I wake up is because my phone is going every second. Z -z -z I check it. All new subscriptions are coming in. I'm not putting two and two together. I'm not thinking, oh, that that's coming from Reddit. I'm thinking, oh, did Ray William Johnson of Equals 3 mention my video? Like, back then in 2012, it took a larger YouTuber to mention one of your videos for you to blow up. So if it was, you know, Ray William Johnson, if it was Smosh, you know, one of those large YouTubers back then. I'm going to check in all their channels. Nobody's saying nothing about no Dame drops. And I'm like, yo, where are all these new subscriptions coming in from, right? Mm -hmm. well, still, I get myself ready for work. I was working at CarMax at the time. I get myself ready for work. My phone is still going crazy all the way to work. I get to work about 9 o'clock in the morning. By the time of me leaving my house to 9 o'clock in the morning, that video that was between three to 4,000 views was already over 25,000 views. Mm. And this is from the night before. All right. So <laughs> we're still under 24 hours. It's already 25,000 views and climbing. And I'm like, yo, where is all this coming from? And my heart is always pumping because I'm like, yo, this is my first video that's moving, moving right now at a rate that I cannot even comprehend. <laughs> my lunch that day, and I took my lunch about like one o'clock. And me and my friends were kind of sitting there going through YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Checking, checking, checking. By lunch, we were already over 80,000 views from 9 o'clock that morning of the 25,000. Mm. End of the day, by the time I get back home, bro, I'm already over 130,000 views. So now we're at 130,000 views from, let's just say, 3,500 the night before. And this thing is growing. It's glowing. It's going crazy. I was like, I still can't piece anything together, but I'm excited because I'm like, yo, I'm finally going viral. This is like my first chance of going viral with doing a food review after all these food reviews I've done before. What is so special about this one? I don't know, but I'm going to take it. Let me tell you what, what, what changes a person when you have no idea of how any of this works. The following morning, getting ready for work, I wake up to being on the news. And I'm on my local news, and it's like local Food reviewer, Dame Drops, the YouTube channel, they had everything posted up, does a five guys review, and it's over 300,000 views. Nice. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> Fair enough, I'm looking at my phone, and, and she was right. <laughs> it was like the news had to tell me what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Around the time I got 300,000 views, Gregory Brothers were hot back then. If you guys remember, yeah. hide your kids, hide your wife, or Antoine. Yeah, hide the kids, hide your wife. wife. Yeah. I remember how crazy that was going, right? So to hear the guys that made that happen, took my video, turned it into Oh My Damn with me and CeeLo Green in the thumbnail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, I played the song for the first time, and I'm like, this is crazy. Because it was just my regular food review, but now auto-tuned with music behind it, and, you know, chopped and screwed up. Yeah. And it was already over 300,000 within the first hour. That's crazy. Mm. Mm. That video today is over 40 million views. Mm. I was like, Man. So when you say people will recognize you more for five guys than knowing my name, you're absolutely correct. Because a lot of people still call me down. 
My name is Damon. I've been, <laughs> I've been noticing as I've been promoting. That's yeah. just one thing I've noticed as I've been promoting. They go damn drops. Damn, and damn I go, drops. No, it's not <laughs> damn drops. <laughs> it's not <laughs> damn drops. <laughs> okay, hold up. Oh, okay. So I just got okay. I just got a message from Elliot because I was like, I put it. Yeah. Okay, good. On, Cause uh, I was like, yo, I was like, I sent you the link. I, like, he got like 15 Twitter accounts, and I sent it in the link. And I'm like, yo, I put it in there. I put it in the other uh, uh, Twitter account. So yeah, Elliot, uh, we try and get you in here. And uh, and uh, let's see, I see Brian Criscow on Periscope, which again, Mike, you need to link your Periscope to your stream. And uh, but uh, Brian Criscow, uh, the the uh, very fine comic book writer, uh, Six Gun Gorilla. Which I think is still on Indiegogo right now. So uh, there, yes, yeah, Six Gun Gorilla is. Uh, yeah, he sent me uh, the, a trade paperback of it. It's fantastic, and uh, yeah, he, he's got the new part. I think it's still funding, but uh, Brian, you can correct me if I'm uh, wrong about that. Uh, I, I thought it was still funding. I know you're done. Yeah, that book was Brad. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was like, uh, yeah, but I'm, mm. I'm saying. But yeah, uh, yeah, Dame. A lot of people think you're damn drops. Yes, and uh, yeah, that's why I'm like your. Uh, but yeah, I would show your face is recognizable. Obviously, one thing I would say is they had the NBA playoffs on TNT and uh, on AEW Dynamite. Uh, I watch AEW. I'm a wrestling fan, so I watch AEW Dynamite, and I noticed. Burger King was blowing your shit yeah. up. They kept on showing you have a Burger King commercial and you pulling up and, and I'm like, so you've done a couple commercials because I saw an old McDonald's commercial and I know you mm -hmm. work with like Taco Bell and some of these mm -hmm. other places. So and obviously the Popeye's chicken, because I'm gonna tell you, that's why I know Corey Holcomb was roasting you. Yes, he was. he was. I was there. Yeah, Cor Corey Holcomb was roasting. Okay, so Ellie is here. Let me bring Elliot in. Um, let me oh, love Elliot. Boom, and Elliot Fernandez. How are you, my friend? What up, Elliot? What's up, Elliot? Elliot? Uh -huh. yeah, man? Yeah, we there's a party going on right here. <laughs> yeah, there, there's my buddy Elliot Fernandez. Elliot did uh, he did the logo for Superficial, he did all the graphics that are on the Indiegogo page. Uh, you know, he, he obviously blessed us with a cover. Uh, you know, he he. I mean, he's my go-to, and uh, and his cover, his the original art for his cover is on sale right there on the uh, Indiegogo page as well. Mm. If anyone wants, it's one of a kind. If anyone wants the original art, uh, the the original art cover to uh, one of the variants for Super Official, it is on sale right there on the mm. Indiegogo page. So, uh, Elliot, uh, it's good to see you, brother. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I, I'm trying to get in, and out of my 17,000 email or Twitters, <laughs> I finally got through. Oh, you didn't use the Facebook link, I think? Yeah, that's right. I got the Facebook link. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, I sent it. And uh, oh, okay, so I got Brian, Brian Chris guy. He says the Indiegogo campaign is wrapped up, but people can still get Six Gun Gorilla one through seven on Kickstarter. Okay, so go to Kickstarter right. and type in Six Gun Gorilla. And uh, I'm telling you, it's and I mean, I'm, it, it's literally what it says. It's about a gorilla that has a six shooter, and I know that sounds wild, but <laughs> it it is a and I mean very well written, and I, I just enjoyed it. It's a fun story. I know uh, actually, uh, Kanan had done a cover for that back in the day, so Kanan's worked on everything. Um, so there you go. I really have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've whored yourself out to a, a, a few places. Uh, and I think I, I saw you just had a Zenoscope cover that just uh, yeah. that you were, you shared on Instagram a few days ago. So I was like, I don't know what was that. Uh, what book is that going to be on? Uh, it is um, uh, Robin Hood versus the Iron Maiden. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's a new one that they're working on. So yeah, I like the universe. It's pretty cool. You take all the fairy tale characters and basically make them adult oriented and grimy and aggressive and all that stuff so yeah it's, it's pretty cool so okay uh but i wanted to go back okay like, like i was saying dame Corey holcomb kind of put a little roast session in on you and and the popeye's chicken so <laughs> i wanted to to ask you about that because um one one guy and he matter of fact he was mentioning this guy there's a there's another popeye's com uh, uh commercial where the guy mm -hmm. comes in with the bag and he goes 
Ooh, baby, I got Popeye. <laughs> and so um, oh, that was. <laughs> oh my god and 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 so yeah Corey really went in on him but then he threw he didn't know your name but he was like he's like okay yeah and he was doing and i was like oh he's doing damn he saw yep. your commercial so i was uh-huh. like uh what do, i mean obviously a lot of people have seen because that's that's one thing i've noticed when i've shown people because they was like dang drops i don't know who that is they go oh that's the burger king guy oh that's the five guys guy oh that's the Popeye chicken so I mean, you got you got like that that kind of that kind of like sideways fame where your your fa- your face is definitely more recognizable than yes. than your you know th- than your name, but mm-hmm. you know so I mean, but I guess you you can still go to the mall and not get mobbed or what was yes. it like? How many people I know because I've seen you especially before before Corona you be out and you post pictures up on the gram with you know people would you know you be doing a food review and someone would recognize you and they want to come up and approach you but then you be like mm-hmm. hey man I, it's all good you can you you're approachable and you will let yeah. people come and talk to you and stuff so I'm I'm I don't know I mean you you've always you like I wasn't expecting you to even answer me back when I like message you and stuff and you you were mm-hmm. like. You were just a regular guy. I, I, that shocked me. I don't know. I was like, so where does that come from? Um, you know, believe it or not, a lot of some people know I, I did put it up on my YouTube channel. I was born and raised a Jehovah Witness. Mm. And you and MJ. Yeah, yeah. You 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 learn a lot. You definitely learn a lot to try to keep yourself out of trouble. That was my mother's whole entire thing to keep me out of trouble coming up where I came up. Started, you know, giving talks when I was seven years old. Mentally, it puts you in a different place where you, you, you are a little more personable. Mm-hmm. And I'm not an introvert whatsoever, but regardless what would have happened in my life, right? Like what, what direction I would have went, I always wanted to make sure that I was still me. I was still grounded to that point because as long as a man still fears his mama, you will remain grounded. Once yeah. you have lost all respect from what, of what you came from, then you'll act however you want to act once you hit a level of quote unquote fame, right? It's true. So for me, I always want to make sure that I'm always approachable. I want to make sure that individuals know that they can still come to me, have a regular conversation. Because at the end of the day, regardless of what you see on television, what you may see in a movie, a commercial, blah, 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 you should be able to feel that you can still say hello and then we could just chop it up about whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, having that type of relationship with individuals that help me get to that place is more important than me sitting there saying, you know, I'm this, that, and the third, and everybody needs to serve me, right? My energy doesn't come from that. My energy comes from what we can bounce off of each other. So if somebody is out there hustling, and I can feel and sense that hustle, I want to chop it up with you. I want to chop it up with you because, once again, you have things going on that I know nothing about. I have things going on that you may have questions about. That means we can go back and forth. Let's always leave that line of communication open for one another because we're on that same equal level. I'm going to treat you the same way you treat me. Mm. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah, but, but like, that's why I always, like I said, man, I, I immediately, uh, the bond was there. I was like, oh, he just, he's just a regular dude. He don't yeah. be like, he's like, I'm not going to answer you. I'm Dame Drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, and I was like, oh my God, he answered me. It is like, and that's, that's the only thing, you know, someone opened the door, I'm always going to walk through it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, that's the thing, you know, so you, you open the door and I walk through it and then me and you start chopping it up. And obviously mm-hmm. uh, the end result is super official here. So I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to, to have people, you know, check this out and read it, and you know, as we go along, uh, I notice we're we're chugging along here. We're getting close to cracking a thousand on it so far, and got uh, I, yeah, man, wow, wow. yeah, people Appreciate are, uh, yeah, we're sitting at eight hundred and eighty six dollars right now, and uh, I mean, dang, what's that? I mean, people, uh, the the foodie fam is coming in, and like I said, I know uh, you. Do you find that you have a lot of international fans or? Or is it just mostly? I mean, obviously your commercials and stuff are running like in in the U.S. mostly. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm assuming, but but it seems like I know when I've been on your YouTube page, you got people from like Australia and all kind yeah. of. So I'm surprised by that a little bit, especially because you you might go to a place where they don't have it in in that country or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. But I mean, how do how does how does that make you feel? I, I mean, I know you got to. 
your your shirts and everything. I'm sure you got some international uh, buyers of your what's that DameDropsMerch.com. Yep. DameDropsMerch.com. Yep. Yeah, DameDropsMerch.com. You can get the matter of fact. If you, I know uh, if you're still doing that, if you buy one of the shirts, then you get entered in to win either a PlayStation or Xbox. Was Xbox Series X? Mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken. It's like again, uh, how do you get to connect on those uh, Xboxes and Playstations, Mr. Dame? Or is that uh, that uh? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. No, no. That'd be nice. no, literally, there's a guy that doesn't live too far from me, and everybody knows him as you know. What I'm saying the the local town hustler, and mm. this kid, you know, he, he hustles a lot of sneakers, and he, he made a great business off himself for doing so. But the moment these systems came on pre-order, he just did what a, a lot of people ended up doing. They purchased multiple Xbox Series X's and S's, a lot of the digital PS5s, a lot of the regular hard drive PS5s. At four hundred ninety nine dollars a pop or three ninety nine, whatever the case may be, because they knew that these systems were going to sell out, right? Yeah, they did, and then they also knew that they could sell them back out for twice the amount. So I get hit paying a thousand dollars per system, which is fine. I have access to them, but my thing is, I wouldn't resell it back out for fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars. No, what I'm going to do is, I have my new merch site that just dropped, and the best way to get attention on the merch site is to be able to do some type of, of giveaway or, or some type of raffle, right? It brings and draws individuals in. And now when we have something that people don't have normal access to until it's back in stock, which happens to be the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S, the PS5s. Well, I got three of each, right? Except I don't have the, the Series S's for Xbox. I got the big boys. I got the, the one terabyte, you know what I'm saying, large joint. So I got three of those, three of the PS5s, and I'm like, look, all you gotta do is purchase something off the website. You enter, you get one item, your name goes in one time. You get three items, your name goes into the drawer three times, giving you a better chance to win. Once I start announcing the winners, they get to select whether they want the PS5 or if they want the Xbox Series X. I'm gonna sign the box, ship it out to them, and they're happy. And they may be an individual who spent $35 on a shirt or $45 on a hoodie, and they just got themselves a $500 system. That's yeah. a win win. So so okay, wow. Because I would, I saw that you was you had this picture posted up, and you had like a little stack of Playstations and Xboxes, yeah. and I was like, because yeah. I mean, when you look online, a lot of them joints are just sold out. They're they're almost impossible. I say almost because they're all play, and they're people like uh, selling for like crackhead prices on uh, eBay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you people are on there hustling. I, I don't know if uh, the, the COVID has made us some uh, entrepreneurs, but there are people hustling these Xboxes and Playstations on, on eBay. And I'm sitting there going, damn, this is crazy. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll, we'll sell it to you for $1,500. And I'm like, that's a little high. But I mean, man, I was like, somebody hooked you up. You got to connect on all that. So it's, um, I'm, I'm a... I'm 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 waiting on my because I'm an Xbox guy. I mean, that's another thing I bonded with you all because you always I know you have both systems, but you're an yeah. Xbox guy like myself. And people are like why why are you uh, why aren't you a PlayStation guy? And that's like I got a couple of my friends that just they, they play, yeah they just and <laughs> matter of fact yeah yeah oh that's right yeah Kane you are a PlayStation guy, but like my brother's oh, an oh, Xbox oh. guy. I be I believe blue. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, you know what? Look, when it comes to the PlayStation Xbox War, which is going on for as long as we all can remember, yes, and it really all comes down to preference, right? Me, I just prefer playing with my boys on Xbox because that's what it's been for as long as I can remember. I enjoy the games better on Xbox. I like the fact that it's a bigger controller. Yeah, I have big hands. I don't have little hands. So when I'm playing a PlayStation with a PlayStation controller, I'm like, I'm all messed up up over here. You know, I, I'm playing Call of Duty, and I can't go like a 25 and 5 because all this action right here, B, I'm not a happy camper. But boom, an Xbox controller is like holding a baby living room inside your hand. It's comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It loves you. You sitting there working out your magic, brat, brat, brat. And you got a big old controller in your hand, like that's grown man status. I don't want the little kid controller that PlayStation has to offer. I'm not saying PlayStation got some fire games. Let's keep that 100. PlayStation got the exclusives that will pimp slap you all day long. I love playing God of War. 
God of oh, yeah. crazy, baby. You see what that I'm Miles Morales is fire too. That new one that they hey. dropped that Spider Man hey. Miles Morales. Oh my God, that looked. And I thought, I remember, what was it? About a year and something. How long ago is that Spider Man game? What was it two years? I think it came out two years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. The Spider Man game on PS4. Oh my goodness. Let's just let's just say it's every bit as fun as you think it is, man. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, right. Let, let's just say that Kanan has baby hands. That's all we I don't have baby hands. <laughs> a little, little baby hands. Uh, Elliot. Uh, yeah, but no. <laughs> no, you know what though? I'm a fan of I'm a fan of Xbox, man. I um I was Xbox for a long time. Probably till probably you'll say 2016. Uh, I mean I got every one 360, the original, you know, the S. You know, all of them. Um, and kind of what kept bringing me back to Xbox was Halo. I love Halo. Oh, it's still oh I saw favorite. the new, they got a, they got the preview of the new Halo, too. Yeah. I saw that, and yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. but they also have a preview to the new God of War, which yeah, is. Yeah, I saw so God of War was like, oh, 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 I was like, cradle. That new God of War looks like it's going to be incredible. So I was just like, oh, my God. You know, it's like, uh uh, but that that was always one like the original God of War was like maybe I need to slide on over to God of War and get that PS two or PS one all that kind of stuff and I was like I was thinking about that but at the same I'm I'm just I just love my Xbox you know that's yeah, like about you said it, uh, Dame man it's, honestly man it's like the PC and, and Mac you know it just kind of depends on what you what you knew what you use what you need what you like. Because honestly, man, it's, it's you know, it either one can fit the need, it's just kind of whatever you like. So, I mean, I, you know, you ain't gonna go wrong with either PlayStation or Xbox, really. The games are they're kind of almost like parallel now, you know. You know, PlayStation is a little bit right here, a little, little bit, a little bit. Oh, boy, here we go. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna fast track this one right here. Uh, brother Badlands, brother Badlands, I know you happen to have that tropical hood punch. Uh -oh. In your presence, uh oh, brother, can you, bless, bad, us, can you uh -oh. bless us with a chug? Can you bless right. us with uh, a chug? Yes, I got the tropical fantasy hood fruit punch. I don't uh -oh. think maybe I don't think you know you haven't seen this for a long time. Oh, yeah. He says you you remember what this is? Oh, one hundred percent artificial. All right, yeah. well, <laughs> enough talk. All right, let uh -oh. me just tell this for you real quick. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, Back sir. Hold on a second. Oh yeah. The sound that everyone loves. Oh, oh, that mouse. Oh. All right. You get, get a live chug, chug, people. You get a live chug right now. All right. All right. This yeah. for you, Dame. You know, and everybody at you know for you know and everybody with the comics. Yo, a comic of me is so fire, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank Bad you. That last chug, you. comic. Yeah, get it. And here's a chug. All right. Three, two, one. <sighs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Woo! Wow. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh man. Baby. Just like oh, I remember <laughs> I would I would have to do a race. I would have to do I, I know I would lose, but I would I would I would <laughs> challenge Bad Lands Chugs to a chugging contest. I would, uh, the next one, the, 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 the next stream. Let's do it. Uh oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I actually wanted to ask Badlands because you like you have more people following you on TikTok than you do on on YouTube. You got like two and a half million on YouTube. What's going on on TikTok? I haven't quite figured that out yet. So what's going on on TikTok? Well, um, I wasn't even going to mess with TikTok at first. But then um, someone hit you know put me on to there was a guy right. Um, his name, you know, his name was, ba he actually had the name Badlands Chugs, right? And I was just, you know, looking through his feed, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the people thought it was like, you know, really, you know, me, but it was somebody else. You know, the catfish thing, right? Mm. But, he was, you know, the people was like, yeah, yeah, you're awesome, Badlands. He's answering them, answering them like they was me, saying, yeah, yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm like, oh, man, I got to come on here and make my presence felt. So, I just put on, you know, I started real bad Lance Chugs. But the, the thing about it was that I think that had got me so like high with the with the followers on TikTok is that they have these things and where, you know, you do duets. So there's a lot of chuggers out there in TikTok land, right? And it's like, you know, they all want to challenge me, you know, and, and you know, and it's like, 
you know, when you do the duet, it's like, a, you know, a good challenge. And, and you know, since, since pretty much TikTok is everything you want to know in like a New York minute, um, you know, the challenges are real popular. And, and you know, I, I can't say that I'm, um, I, I think I've been beaten once. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but, but it's like, it's fun. TikTok is fun. I, I you know, I haven't been on TikTok in, in about, about a, like a, about a few weeks, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back, you know, but it's, a, but TikTok is fun. I love it. Um, I see Instagram is starting a little thing kind of like TikTok. It's, it's called Reels. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But, but you know, TikTok is fun, okay? Because it's like, you, you, you know, just if you just want to get something out, you know, in a minute or less, you just post it. It's awesome. I love it. But, Brother, brother I, I, Man, let me ask you one time, good brother, because you know you and I have been rocking out for, for a long minute now with Clash of the Titans. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up making that to a comic book series, too, man. It's going to get bananas. Um, wh how, what was your initial feeling when you seen yourself drawn as a comic? Because I know how I felt, but when you seen these gentlemen draw you up as a comic, man, how did you feel, good brother? Oh man, I was I was I was stoked, man. I was I was ecstatic, you know, you know, because because it was like I um I was just scrolling through the Twitter feeds, right, and you know I saw the one where it was just you know you, you know me regular and then me looking like you know like yeah. like bugging like, that, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, <laughs> oh man, it was just oh I was I was shocked, man. you know. I screenshot it immediately, and man, I was just. Just I, you know, I couldn't believe it, you know, because you know I used to collect, you know, comics. You know, I didn't collect a lot. I just was basically just X Men and and mostly Hulk. You know, like like you know, I collected a lot of Hulks. You know, I, you know, I, I I um I, I bought the Old Man Logan story and you know stuff like that. So you know, I had a few comics you know, back in the days. You know, Midnight Sun stuff, Blade, uh, Ghost Rider, Moon Knight. Mm. Um, and, you Naming know, all his for me. Yeah. 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 And, um, so. So it was like when when you know when I saw myself drawing the comic and it was just oh it was just like that quality and that oh, it, oh man I was just like I had no words I mean, it was just amazing I was just like shy I had just just staring just looking at it for a second just like oh this is gonna be um, I I couldn't wait I couldn't wait to read it I couldn't wait to read it and you know now now that the um the, you, you know that, that the preview was out man this is awesome you Y'all did a great job. I mean, hats off to y'all. It was just, I, I was, I was just ecstatic. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Cause I was like, yeah, like I said, we put a lot of we got put a lot of love into the pages. And I, I was see. like, I was I was on, I know I was getting annoyed because I was on Kane and I was like, come on, man, we gotta get these pages. And then Kane, <laughs> <Kanan>, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I was cracking the whip a little bit, but Kane and Kane came through like the summer. And uh, you know, he did his thing and uh, you know, got those off to Jesse and Jesse knocked those pages out and and uh, you know, we were we were really excited. Uh, oh man, hold up, but you put the vegetable behind him or oh, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah oh, man. Yo, yo, Ken, Ken is flexing on us real hard yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Was the, was the, was there somebody behind, strong, the, behind us? Like, I see some big eyes or something. Yeah. yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's sinister yeah. looking. That's that's yeah. what's yeah. up. But yeah, yeah, that's the vegetable bully that was uh that was the name chosen in the name my arch villain uh, uh contest or my arch nemesis. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so yeah, that was the the vegetable bully, and uh, that was a crazy because I remember when when uh, we would DM in in the morning time, and because I noticed one thing about you, Dave, you be getting up like at least as early for me. I'd be like, Man, why are you, <laughs> sure do, <laughs> you be tripping me out, and. Uh, <laughs> And I, I would just uh, let me, see, you know, I, I was uh, really, really uh, surprised by that. I was like, "Yo, um, can you, uh, it, 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 you, you uh, mentioned to me, you was like, okay, I want to fight this uh, monster that's like lettuce and tomato." Yep. And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That, that through." And then Kanan, Kanan came up with a couple of sketches, and then I was like. Okay, that's uh yeah okay. I was like I was like that sounds insane. I was like, is he supposed to have like mayonnaise powers or something? I didn't know uh, <laughs> what the, what the thing was, but you know, obviously, Kanan sometimes because I, I know when when I'm working on my books, uh, I, I'll give Kanan some crazy ideas and he 
kind of makes them he can flesh through all the nonsense and get yeah. it, you know, and kind of like, okay. And I was like, Kenan, you changed something. And he goes, Well, this is what I was thinking when I made, you know, it's like it's it's really interesting collaborating with him. Uh, you know, been, me and this knucklehead have been going back and forth for about <laughs> good five years now, you know. So I was like, uh, you know, married. Uh, married in in creation, I guess. <laughs> I was like, you know, what? that's uh, that's the thing. You know, uh, you know, obviously, uh, I, I've enjoyed working with Kane. He's 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 fun, and I'm you know very thrilled to have him, uh, you know, on Super Official as well. And and like I said, appreciate everybody that that contributed to Super Official. Uh, yes. uh, obviously, uh, you, Mike, and and uh, you, Elliot, I appreciate both of you guys. And like I said, Elliot hooked up all the graphics and the logos. I mean, he was busting his ass trying to get me all these graphics that I need and all this kind of thing. So uh, I, I really, really appreciate everybody that, that's been chipping in, trying to help us get this thing launched. Uh, it, it, it's amazing. So uh, uh, really, really, <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know. I like I put I put mayonnaise on my sandwiches, Sir Kev. So I, I do put mayonnaise. He was like mayonnaise powers. I was like I didn't know. I was like you know. But uh, I think what we have the the final vegetable form. I think will work, and uh, I think that that's what's gonna work. So let me, let me see here. I, I've I got ours. Yeah, the uh, all day <laughs> What about the uh, 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 what's it called, a sriracha or whatever? Let me see. Uncle mm. Bean says, "Hey, Car, would you mind showing my Badlands?" Uh, uh, Sean Badlands, my fan art I did of him. Really big fan. I want him to see. I can't link in the chat, so uh, can I send it to you? Yeah, please, please send it to me on Twitter. Send me a – my DMs are open. You should be able to uh, message me, and I will I will put it on the screen and and, and try to make you famous, bro. You got to use right, the piece right. for a stretch goal for something. Uh, well, yeah. Um, I think this will be our uh, – our first uh, backer reward here. This uh, this nice little pin. Once once we uh, get Mister Hagee to uh, bless us with some of his uh, fine color work, uh, we can uh, make that a, a stretch go. So let me do that. But uh, I think I mean, you know, for me personally, man, just to to see Kanan in action and drawing this before it's live. You know what I'm saying? Like this, mm -hmm. the whole dude. It's just been amazing for the last hour and a half, bro. Been mm. putting in a type of work and detail that's blowing my mind, and my mind was already blown just off of seeing all the <laughs> art that has come across my mm. way thus far for over these past few weeks. But this right here is crazy with me and my yeah. bro, Badlands Chugs, man. This is amazing. Yeah, thank you. I mean, just to, I mean, just you, you know, you start from a blank page like a half an hour and a half ago, and it's just like. You know something that 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 you'll step definitely see like you know that, that that's like that that MCU quality that you know the Marvel quality is just awesome man oh Thank my you. god I appreciate that I mean that that's um, that's always a goal a lot of times indie stuff or, or you know create your own stuff gets a bad rep because it's usually not at that level man but me and Antonio from Jump where well, we did brand and anything we else we did, like Badland you know Badland is your uh, day. It should be able to compete. I say if it if you said it next to an X Men man, you know you gonna be like, man, I want that one too. I'm like who did this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Should be the same level. I mean, it should match the level of you guys. You know, you you know Dame and Chugs. I mean, y'all y'all are personalities, man, and you know people know who you are and they love your personality, your vibe, and so the books gotta gotta reflect too. So I appreciate that, man. I, I really do. I'm I'm, I'm humble, for real. Thank yeah, you. That, that, that's kind of what uh, my mentality is, because you guys, you guys are YouTube stars, you're TikTok stars, and so you're going to be able to reach new people. And and Dame, you were mentioned earlier about like that first interaction with comic books. Now, yeah. what if you picked up that first comic book and it was like trash? Right. Right? <laughs> oh, you want, you want people's first experience with a comic t book to be like, you know, Canaan, you know, like like high, you know, pro quality stuff that you know so if you're gonna if you're gonna be reaching out to your audience hook them on this art form because this art form needs mm -hmm. new readers because marvel and dc have been have failed completely to bring in new readers for the last two decades and it's mm. so uh, i'm so super appreciative that you guys all hooked up uh i'm working with shadowversity he's another big youtuber and so it's like this is kind of my my dream where where we we just get guys like you to yeah. use your influence to introduce new people to this medium that we all love. Absolutely. Definitely, definitely, definitely man.
I just want to say, man, you know, I greatly appreciate every last one of you guys, man, just just making this happen and then taking out time because I already know your schedules are already hectic, already busy with everything else you already had going on before. And Tony was like, look, I'm going to throw this curveball at y'all. What can we make happen? <laughs> and I mean, it's, you know what? End result is, is just – it's on a level that I can't personally fathom, but just for what myself, my – individuals that follow me in the foodie fam, Lynn's Chuck's community, man, just what we're going to be able to bring to the people on such a larger level, the talent that these individuals are looking at right now in this broadcast, it's just going to put us, you know what I'm saying, in a whole different category collectively. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. All right. And, and uh, Badlands Chuck's, I have some, uh, I have the fan art right here. I want to show this from Beanbag. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, wow. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Chubbs, can I get a don't touch that mouse one, one time, please? Yeah. All right. Don't touch that mouse. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Yeah, that's uh oh man, I can't believe it. it's wow. been almost two hours. We this thing has been blowing by. It's been fun chopping it up with all you guys. Uh let me kind of go around. And uh, you know, I wanna I wanna get Elliot in here because, like I said, he, we've got his uh, art. Right, let me kind of go around the little table here and kind of let people let people know how to hook up with you because, like I said, Elliot's like a big star on Instagram. Got what one hundred thirty one thousand people following him and stuff like nice. that. But but I mean, he got uh, the matter of fact, there's a link to uh, Doom Kicker, his uh, book with Doug the Neighbor is in the description as well. Yep, and yep. Uh, can you uh, kind of? Kind of break it down and, and tell people what all you're doing, Mr. Fernandez. Oh, well, I'm working on Doom Kicker, uh, and I'm also producing uh, some original art so I can start doing some um, uh, sales and auctions on eBay and stuff. Uh, about to get that kind of flowing. But other than that, I spent a lot of time on Instagram under uh, Elliot Fernandez underscore art. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to load up some time lapse videos here on YouTube also for people that are interested. But I do a lot of my live streams over on Twitch. And uh, it's been fun ha getting those done, and then kind of creating some content that way. And everybody's, it's, it's, it's fun to actually consider what, what being an independent creator means now. It's like you have to be a, a have to wear different hats. You're a salesman, you're a marketing person, you're, you're the creator person, and then, and then you're the shipper and the, all that other good stuff. But, uh, but no, but that's, that's where I spend most of my energy is on, on uh, Instagram and Twitch and, and YouTube right now. But catch me on there under Jerkmonger. Cause I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let me let me go. Let me take the round table to uh, Mr. Mike S. Miller. Uh, let me let me go and put it on on Mike. Let me go. Okay, so Mike, you do your thing there, brother, and and kind of uh, let people know your wares. The floor right. is yours. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, LoneStarComic.com. I do. I don't even have it. <laughs> <laughs> If, if you want to check out my work, if you go to LoneStarComic.com, that is the Indiegogo campaign. But right in the first paragraph, there's a link to getting the free first issue. It's 58 or 56 page. Actually, it's more than that because it's got all the different covers. It's got great art. It's got art by Elliot, art by Kanan. It's just got art. It's it's fantastic package. Um, the, uh, uh, the link is at LoneStarComic.com right in the first paragraph. Uh, I'm also launching another book tomorrow, Monster Hunt, with uh, Doug Tenable character Bigfoot Bill and Nexus. For those who are old, old timey comic book fans, he was like Mike Barron. Yes, Mike Barron. Mike Barron. Um, so that launches tomorrow, um, and you can follow me at Blacklist Universe. We're going to be doing drawn and quartered tonight in a, about an hour and a half. The greatest drawing competition show on the internet. Uh, join us there. We'll be drawing Gina Carano tonight. Nice. How, many, how nice. many episodes of of uh, how many episodes of Drawn and Quarter have you done? You've done like over a hundred, have you? This is round one oh six. One oh six. Okay. And uh, let me uh, let me put the my man on my partner in crime here, uh, Mr. Kanan White, uh, who has been uh, entertaining the the many thousands of people i was like yeah it's been going crazy on planet ejo me and so we appreciate everybody over there that's been watching uh but uh uh tell us 
what all you obviously you're working on brand way of the gun you're working on uh, super official you got other projects so what all are you doing and how can people find you on social interwebs and all that good stuff um i started with social media I'm basically on instagram that's my primary i mean i have a facebook and all that but instagram is a uh, canon zero two on instagram um that's usually where you'll see all my new stuff i also have an art station which is the art of canon white and that has um all my kind of like collected stuff maybe over the last few years or so um four was what i'm working on of course you know the dane book then you like you mentioned the way of the gun um doing um commission work i'm um, working on covers for xenoscope uh, which is like i said they, they do like little fairy tale things and um yeah i mean just staying busy man like i'm 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 grinding man like it, it's that's that's the beauty of being able to work with a whole bunch of indie people man you're you're creating so many different types of stories because you know not every story has been told so it's always an honor and a pleasure um to bring really to bring people oh, i said i feel like i'm gonna be the dude man <laughs> whose name is attached to several hundred different things <laughs> Like, who can and white? He's like, geez, he's on everything. But I like that. You know, I, 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 so that's what I do. So, yeah. Yeah, you humble bragging. Cause, but I mean, here's the thing. Uh, a lot of people don't recognize. I mean, Kanan's worked on two books that got optioned. One got optioned by The Rock and the other one got optioned by Will Smith. Uh, I don't know. They must be stuck in Hollywood limbo. Obviously, the corona did not help. But uh, was it Son of Shaolin? Son yep. of Shaolin, which is in development over there at Sony. And then uh, Will Smith optioned uh, Harlem Hellfighters. Yep. Uh, oh, so no. that is, wow. uh, yeah, man, that's that, that's what it is. So uh, you know, uh, you know, I've, I've been waiting to see Harlem Hellfighters for there's, a minute. There's and, been like, uh, mini series and stuff, man, but not like a major film. That, that's the thing, you know, when when they buy an opt the movie, you know, they basically buy the rights so they can produce it whenever they want to. Right. Yeah. You know, it just kind of depends on whenever. You know, sometimes it just stays in the wheelhouse. They're ready, but yeah, man, it's, it's been awesome to work with. Um, like I say, you son of Shaolin, that was the writer of um, if you guys seen Sneakerheads, he was the director of that uh, Netflix TV show. Uh, Jay on Gino, shout out to Jay. So, and uh, what was it, Uncle Drew? That that uh, yeah, that, Drew. that uh, that NBA movie where they had the NBA players like dressed up like old men and they go to the court and like dunk on people and stuff, yeah. like. That Uncle Drew, yeah, I thought Shaq was in that, and I think Kyrie Irving was and Tony. Yeah. yeah, it was like so. Yeah, he wrote uh, "Son of Shaolin" was very well reviewed, by the way. I know you can get it on Amazon. Uh, but let, let me uh, slide on over to uh, Mister uh, Booker himself, Badlands Chugs, who has the Badlands Chugs uh, cover. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure chopping it up with you over the last few hours, Mister Chugs. Thank you so much for. Coming in, I, I, obviously, I know you and Dame are real tight, and uh, you know, coming out and supporting your main man's. Uh, mm -hmm, but uh, but uh, I've actually got the link to his YouTube channel in the description there, and uh, you know, but just tell people how they can link up with you, chop up with you, tic tac, all that good stuff. Yeah, well, you know, I'm on YouTube at uh, you know, youtube.com slash badlands chugs, you know, chugging the world one ball at a time. You know, things is going good there. You know, just hit 2.5 million subscribers the other day. You know, you know, I'm, I'm doing like about three to four chugs a week. And <clears throat> I'm just, you know, taking suggestions, you know, what do you want to see me do? I probably got some Thanksgiving themed chugs coming up. You know, I may chug a little bit of gravy or something or just oh, like, man. Oh, man. You, know, so, you, you know, you know, it's it's like it's like anything goes. I might just blend the turkey or something. We'll see what happens, but oh wow. Okay. <laughs> but, but, and, um, <laughs> And, and on TikTok, you know, the real bad Lance Chugs, you know, saying, you know, um, you know, I'll be up on there, you know, and, you know, posting little short videos. If you want to challenge me, just put the word out and I'll do at you, you know, saying it, 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 we have a lot of fun with it. But, you, you know, and, um, <clears throat> you know, I got, I, got, I, got, I got some music out, you know, say I'm on Spotify on the Badlands Booker. The latest Ooh. album is uh, Big Man Mentality 2. Me and Dane got a track up there, you know. Oh, it's called oh, oh. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so. well, you just uh, gave a perfect intro to the man that these last few hours have all been about. Uh, super now, official. We're almost at $1,000 right now. Uh, you know, the people have come in. So, yeah, people people are starting to support as, as we've been going on. Uh, but... Uh, Dame, this is uh this is your time, sir. 
please uh, uh, let people know because I mean you got so much stuff going on and uh, you know like I say you got the TV shows. I don't know if you got more commercials coming, all that good stuff. What all you got going on, man? What you working with? Look here, man. I'm already advertising um, how to become a food critic where you live, and it's going to be a full year course. I have a free introductory course. I'm already promoting it on Facebook. I've been promoting it on my YouTube channel, on Instagram, all that good stuff. And basically, it's going to be a live broadcast very much similar to this with the same type of option. Just go ahead and chat, ask me questions. But I'm literally going to take individuals through a whole entire flow of how they can be the very best sought-after sought food critic where they live, how they could grow their brand, build an audience. If they have a fear of speaking in public, we're going to be having one-on-one -on -one sessions, all that good stuff. So that's going to be coming down the pike come December 1st. Those of you that know, I have the Dirty Little Details podcast. You can tune in, of course, on Spotify. You can tune in on YouTube on the Dirty Little Details with my main man, Johnny Mac. Speaking of Johnny Mac, I'm also partnered with him with LTO Auto. So I'm going to be not only reviewing vehicles on a whole other channel, but selling vehicles as well. Man, I'm ultra. the ultra hustle is all I know. The most important thing that's going on right now, right now, right now, is www dot damecomic.com i need individuals to go ahead up over there get your pre-orders popping get ready because all the individuals that you've been listening to for the last past two hours are working hard to bring you the very best and super official to bring you the very best in all of the energy captured inside of a comic book be it in your hands or be it digital you're going to get the greatest of art in other comic books within packages with super official from all of these artists all of this talent that you have been watching for the past two hours man i greatly appreciate everybody here i greatly appreciate the individuals watching this live broadcast of course antonio you know what i'm saying big mike you know what i'm saying kanan and of course you know what i'm saying everybody else that's always you know higgy out there Oh my good, yo, the name is just flowing through and unforgettable. Elliot, yeah, Elliot, yeah, 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 Elliot, Elliot, let me not forget my main man, Elliot. <laughs> he came in a little bit later on the live, but Elliot, I didn't forget you, baby. Let me tell you right now, so much talent going on behind all of these projects. Super Official is just part of something so much bigger than I, and every last one of you get to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? The moment you make that purchase, you get to be a part of the story of a grown man starting from nothing, coming into this game to building it up and being able to uplift and help others along the way. And we can have fun with food and we can have fun with finding and refining our passion for comic books all over again. You right. see what I'm saying to you? Multitudes of generations reading all over again. I mean, it's great to be able to pick up a cell phone and be stuck on this all day long, but it's even better to have a physical copy of a comic book in your hand and taking it back to the what you actually remember if you're as old as in me, you know what I'm saying, 40 plus, actually remember <laughs> how fun it was to be able to sit down. You can go ahead and read to your kids now, you know what I mean? Like we're taking it somewhere else where we can enjoy a level of visual entertainment, making it great. And that's all I want you guys to be a part of. My right. main man, Badlands Chugs, my brother right there. We've been rocking out a long way for a long time and we're gonna continue rocking out he's gonna bring you the best of chugs i'm gonna bring you the best of food and then we got the best of super official the comic book coming to you live i don't know what else you're doing in life but right now www.damecomic.com is where you need to be getting your comic book pre-order today Oh my goodness. Okay. Let, me, let, me, let me steal the spotlight for just a hot second and want to remind anybody that orders a physical copy, they will be entered into either you can, these are one of a kind. So you will either get, uh, you will, you know, there's only two of these. So you will either get this Dame Drops airbrush right here by Demetrius Miller, who's doing the melee at Mofungo backup story, or you can get the bad last chugs right there for one time for the one time. All right, so uh, uh, I really want to thank everyone that has, uh, you know, showed up. Everybody's hanging out on the chat. Everybody, uh, let me let me uh, pull everything back up. So I'm going to rip the audio. I'm going to put this on my podcast, uh, yeah. anchor.fm slash Akari Press. You can also go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, Google, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio. Just type in Akari Press. We should come right up. Uh, salute to my dear friend Jamal Baraka. All the good folks over there at Planet EGO being that's been hanging out with us. They've been they've been showing mad love over the last few hours. We appreciate y'all. And of course, uh, hit that like, subscribe button. YouTube.com slash Akari Press. But with that being said, 
I'm going to wrap this video up. If you guys want to reach me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, right here on YouTube, all at Akari Press. If you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you to Brand Way of the Gun. We are almost at $32,000 on that one. Woo. Thank you guys so much for supporting. <laughs> hey, wow. I'm, 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 I'm,